Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a bunch of new content that we've got to break down as always in NHL 21 as one of the biggest events uh, or at least event cards of the year was released in my boy Patrick Marlowe getting recognized for breaking the all-time games played record. It was awesome uh, to watch him play in that. I've been a Sharks fan for 20 years now and he was my favorite player basically since um, I became a fan. He's the reason why I'm no sleeves 12 and uh, you know, it was, it's kind of a surreal thing um i think this all but guarantees him a spot in the hockey hall of fame which is something that i was always kind of worried about because well uh you know he never won a championship so that being said uh let's get into today's content because we received that as well as some new gold master icons so let's break all those down also, guys, don't forget to subscribe for daily NHL and MLB content. I know a lot of you guys have been checking out my MLB content lately. Don't forget, you can catch me live on stream, 10 a.m. Eastern time on Twitch. Let's get into the video. All right, so like I said, we did get the three new event uh, event cards in the 97 overall Patrick Marlowe. The only downfall here is that there's no real way to make him. There is one, but it is very, very exclusive. That being said, um, we're going to break down these cards. These are all endgame cards, by the way, and uh, we'll take a look at those. But first, let's go through the new gold master icons as we did receive a few of those and we got our last 90 overall, uh, which we'll start with. It's the 95 overall Pat Lafontaine, the gold master icon version with three to heart and soul and three to magician. Uh, the thing I'll say about Pat Lafontaine, we're at the stage of the game, guys, where heart and soul, like if you can get it activated, it just gives you a benefit really to face offs. Um, in, in my opinion, balance and endurance aren't bad, but they're not really going to completely change the, the way of your the team, the, the feel of your team. Um, this one does come with magician, which is kind of pointless on this card, but he basically activates it himself. If you have anyone else that has magician, uh, 97 speed and 98 acceleration um, with distributor and speedster. Everything else is 99. Not much else you can say about this card. It is an incredible card. And um, the only downfall is that you have to play him on the wing, in my opinion. 86 faceoffs at this stage of the game is just going to put you at a detriment. And combine the fact that he's 5'10, 180, just kind of small for center. But he is unbelievable. An endgame card. If you have the silver one, maybe untradeable, there's no reason why you shouldn't go and upgrade this one unless you, you know, this really hammers you in terms of synergies. But it could help you activate. I don't know, um, but nonetheless, an extremely good card. Following him, we've got the 96 Bernie Perrant, the 5'10", 170 goaltender. You obviously can't start him. However, he does come with three to spark, three to swarm. That's a very, very good value um, in the sense that those are two team-based synergies that I would recommend still swarm not so much, but spark at least, and that really helps people out um, in terms of getting out of synergy prison. Here's the thing, man. There's no way that I would recommend making him because he's going to cost way too much. The only chance that you're at getting this card is for a backup, and you know, you're know you going to have to spend a lot. There's no way that I would make him. Um, you, I would only buy him, but uh, nonetheless, he's a pure backup and uh, just helps out the hut rich if you're looking to get a little bit more synergy help. And then lastly, we got the 96 Yari Curry 6-1-198 with three to Barrage, three to Howitzer. This is one of the better cards uh, that we're going to get. It does have 97 speed with a distributor on, 95 acceleration, and then 99 everything else. Three to Howitzer, three to Barrage, obviously valuable, and he can play center. This is a phenomenal card. I would definitely get him first before LaFontaine and a lot of other right-handed or master icon cards. This is a very, very good card, guys. Uh, someone that I will be upgrading as well. Barrage is a synergy I think that you guys should take advantage of in this stage of the game not because the forwards need it but your defenseman if you have um barrage on really helps out your defenseman and uh you know obviously all around this is just a damn near perfect card so i would recommend for sure upgrading him if possible as uh he's just an incredible card all the way through all right now let's take a look at the new patrick marlowe so 97 overall 6 2 215 that's a great build 99 everything except the skating it is at 91 acceleration and speed uh before any synergy so just off the rip you can get this card to 98 acceleration and 94 speed which is great um and two to balance balance isn't going to do anything for you but maybe if you're trying to activate it as your force synergy go ahead um but really isn't going to impact him at all um so basically you're just looking at the player based synergy this is a very very good card no matter what um if you you know this is probably going to be the cheapest one i don't know if there's any in the market yet no there's not um we'll take a look at the other two this would be rank number three 
Then we've got the San Jose Sharks, Patrick Marlowe with two to Barrage, which is obviously a better synergy, team-based synergy. And then two to Howitzer. Doesn't really do anything for his shot, but his speed gets up to 94, which means you can get it to 97. Uh, and then obviously 95 acceleration. Really, really good card. Again, this is a phenomenal one and the one that I'm going to try and get, obviously, as a Sharks fan. Uh, but there is a reason why we saved the Toronto Maple Leaf one for a little bit. But this is an incredible card all the way around. And then we've got the 97 overall Patrick Marlowe from the Toronto Maple Leafs with two to Spark and two to Speedster. So Speedster, obviously, a little bit better than Howitzer in this card for this card. Um, it's negligible though, but still, I think is kind of the better card to go after, which kind of is a little bit of a you know, um, I guess me just you know complaining just for the sake of complaining as a Sharks fan. But nonetheless, 98 speed. Everything else is 99. End game card, guys. This one, any of them are phenomenal. But if you're going to choose between the two, it's the Sharks and the King or in the sorry the Kings, the the Maple Leafs. I'd probably take the Maple Leafs in a perfect world if you had to just pick all the way around but this is a phenomenal card either way and I'm, I'm really glad that Patrick Marlowe got recognized here all right we need to bring something up here because EA did do something pretty good and cool in this event so obviously um back in the shades of summer was was announced we getting the 97 cappers of and um you know Keandre Miller I was uh, pretty critical of it um, because they basically teased a card that everyone wants and kind of tough that we have to wait for a card that we've had to wait all season for. However, they uh, have done some things here with Hut Rush that actually um, really surprised me and it is a really cool addition. And again, I hope this is kind of something new for future events, uh, maybe in 22. Um, as again, teasing a card I think is great. I just think the problem was was it, it was Kaprizov who we've basically waited all year for. However, though, what they allowed us to do in Hut Rush is basically do a Hut Rush where we get to use Keandre Miller and Kiro Kaprizov. So an awesome way to use Hut Rush to allow us to try these cards out. And Keandre, or, sorry, and uh, and Kaprizov is absolutely nasty. Uh, taking a look at the rewards, they also helped us out a little bit here too. As if you scroll down all the way at the tier 15 for 1 million points you will get a shades of summer event collectible if you remember back to how to actually get these cards you have to wait seven weeks because there's only one basically a week this speeds things up so we no longer have to wait seven weeks we get to wait six um and, and counting obviously but this does knock down a week which is awesome to see again another good adjustment and again then listening to the community so i'm all for that thumbs up for that uh, you know obviously in a perfect world i would have loved to see him right when it was teased but regardless they're making up you know for some of the things the community's com community claimed about or com uh, complained about and you can't argue with that so i uh, really do enjoy them doing that all right guys so that is going to do it for today's big content let me know what you think in the comments section down below and thank you guys for watching give the video a like if you did enjoy it i'll see you next time